Okay, so Alexander, now it's everything okay with Polish media? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, now it's different talking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> everything is different now, so yeah. You know, we were just shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgive you this time. Next nice. time we will see. <laughs> okay, Alexander, um, let's talk about your first uh, fight in KSW. This was a stunning performance, and yeah. most of the people, most of the fans here in Poland were expecting that Damon is going to win and this will yeah. be a great win. And then you showed that you can do a surprise. Now you are going to fight with a guy who is undefeated. So my question is, how would you like to surprise us next? Of course, you will see, you must wait 9 November and you will see a new big surprise. Yeah. For me it's normal, but I know for the people from Poland and uh, 90% of the guy who, who put Janikowski and me in front, they give him advantage, nobody give me the chance, but I know what I can do, I know what I can bring and uh, i think that people don't uh, realize that uh, in the fight business everything is about mindset, you know, mindset for the fight. And uh, they don't know that I have the best mindset, I think, in this game, so. How do you build it? Uh, it's difficult to answer on this question, you know, it's about your, I think, from the beginning, from the childhood and uh, your character and everything in every cir circumstances in your life and everything, you know. It's not only about the training, it's everything, you know. So I think that my mindset is different in the, when the cage closed from the other guys. Does the family help you with building this mindset? Yes, of course. You can find motivation everywhere in the street or I don't know. You can find everywhere, but for me, yeah, the family is uh, the biggest part of motivation, especially my daughter. When KSW called you and said that there is a fight, Uh, the first fight from Yanikos? Yeah, uh, I like. I think like four, four weeks, maybe five. I think four weeks, like short notice. Yeah. Right. How now? Notice. And now about Croatia. Uh, now about Croatia, I know that I will fight. I didn't know the date. It was talking about London first, and I want to fight in London, but uh, they didn't want me to put on this card because of the Balkan. You know, they they think that they will come in Serbia and or, or Croatia, so they want me to keep for the this Balkan car car now Zagreb. Yeah. But it's not better for you to fight uh, in your country. Uh, Croatia is not my country, but it's Some for me. Area, it's yeah. the same people. Yeah. You know, for me, it's the same people, and uh, I know that the crowd is going to be on my my side for sure. You know. But uh, for me, like an athlete, you know, the Wembley, the London, the anniversary of KSW is, is it was like a big, big show, big, big entertainment, you know, big challenge, and uh, a lot of guys want to see me again. So I was prepared for everything, you know. But the fight card in Croatia is uh, quite better than in London. Yes, I must agree with that. You know, the I see that some people are maybe disappointed with the London, you know, a, a lot of fight was, uh, a, a lot of change on the fight card, you know, a lot guys go like short notice to, to fill the, the rest of the card because, you know, this is very brutal sport, very hard sport, the guys give everything and uh, the injuries are always the part of preparation, so it's not uh, an easy task for the people from KSW, for the matchmaker, Wojtslav and Martin and Kowalski. It's, they must bring always something, you know, and the people must expect this. So, but now I think Balkan is very good fight card. The best Balkan fighters are there, you know, so we will see. There, I think that there is a one place, one fight is, is not signed. So we will see. We will see the rest of the fight card. Speaking about London, did you watch Damian Nikovsky fight? Yes, yes, I watch all, all, all. And what can you say? I'm glad that he kick, kick ass from this gypsy guy because this gypsy guy is not MMA athlete, you know. So I was cheering for Damian. I don't have the personal problems with uh, when I finish with my opponents. Uh, I don't. I'm. I don't have the problem to. 
to like them or not, you know. So I cheer for Dam Damian because this guy was, I don't know, TV reality star from the London, something like stupid. But uh, yeah, Damian showed him that he, his place is not in the cage. As I remember, I saw you in Lublin uh, as yes. a corner. Did you watch your next opponent fight? No, I did not because I was with my friend Savo Lazic and uh, during uh, his fight, uh, no, sorry, before his fight, uh, Cesar Oskesic was fighting, so we was in backstage, I didn't watch the fight, so, but I watched it after, you know. Just a short question, going back for Damian. Uh, in, when, you, when you would be in Damian's position before the KSW in yeah. London, would you take this fight with this gypsy guy, Giles? Um, you know, I'm not here to say what he need to do or, you know, he have his own team. The, I don't know his contract with KSW, you know, he signed the contract and uh, he's doing his job, you know. So it's not his mistake, it's, it's uh, what people want to see, you know, and what the bosses and the owners of the KSW think that is the best for him. KSW is searching for a new market. So they already go to London and Dublin. And now the question is, um, do you think that this trip to Croatia is a good idea for KSW? And do you feel that they can stay there longer? Uh, this idea is crazy idea. Because the, like we, we talk about, I remember first time that I talked about like one year ago, they should come, you know, because you have the guy like Roberto Soldic, who is one of the biggest stars now in the KSW. Everybody know him in the Poland and the worldwide. So you have now Anton Racic fighting for the title shot. My friend Vaso is stepping in again in the KSW cage, and he's also a huge star here in Poland. So we have uh, many talents and many good fighters now. Erko Nyun is fighting Pujanowski. You know, a couple of years ago it will be like crazy, like talking about, I don't know, the aliens. <laughs> yeah, I am and a little disagree with you because I have been on the UFC in Zagreb and it was not so many Croatian guys and uh, then Yes, but full. you must understand that 2016 and 2019 MMA in the Balkans are Inclusive. like this. Okay. Yeah. Now it's very popular. You can see about the social media also and everything. We have the people who is following the MMA and the KSW different about the UFC is because they put a really entertainment show, you know. So people who are not like uh, pure MMA uh, fans, like they w like to watch the fight, they will come, they want to see everything, you know. I remember a situation when uh, UFC introduced the uh, croc up on the arena, it was yes. like an earthquake. Yeah, I was, I was on the, on the oh, sorry, on the UFC. And it was yeah really amazing. If the Mirko is not retirement, probably I would like to see like to see him to fight in the KSW. It will be crazy, you know. So, but I think that we will fill the arena like 17,000 people. Yeah? yeah, it's going to be huge. How do you like this idea to have uh, Mariusz Pudzianowski versus Erko Jun in a main event? I know that a lot of guys are questioning about why is Erko the main event, why is not somebody else, you know. But people don't realize that uh, Erko have like six, seven million followers, you know. He's a worldwide very huge uh, star, you know, about the fitness and bodybuilding now, the MMA, you know. He is finishing all three fighting with uh, KOs, so it's... He can, he can do the fight, he can do an attractive fight and uh, Pudzianowski is the biggest star in Poland. So for me, for the pay-per-views, for the followers, it's totally natural that this fight is main event. Uh, if you allow me, I would like to ask you also about uh, this fight between Vaso and Boris Mankowski. Yes. Vaso is your friend, you yes. know exactly how he trains, uh, in uh, which shape is he now. Uh, how do you see this fight? Uh, I think that this fight is the best moment for my friend Vaso because uh, you know my, uh, Boris is a huge star, huge champion. He was undefeated like I don't know seven, eight years until Roberto beat him, and now he is in the, I think three, three defeats streak. Yes, in yeah. a row. Three, three defeats in a row. So for uh, and he's changing the weight class. He's dropping down. He's going down to the 73 catch catch weight. 
and uh, for Vaso is the best moment now. If he can beat him, this is the moment, you know. And I believe in him that uh, he will make a surprise and uh, that the Boris time is finished. Okay. And the last question from me about Cesare Kensik, your opponent. Uh, how do you see him as a fighter? What do you think about him? What are his pluses and minuses in a cage? Um, I didn't watch all his fights. I didn't do a lot of detailing, but uh, what I can say uh, from this point is that he is a young fighter, tough fighter. He is product of the Polish MMA and he is undefeated. So, as you can see, his record is nine wins, zero losses. So, uh, he's, he is confident, you know. He never felt a loss, you know. But I think that I have more experience than him, you know. I fight with better opponents. And uh, like Damian, he uh, always finishes his opponents in the first round. I think only one time he go to the decision and one time second round, seven times first round. So, and uh, they must realize that this is MMA, this is game and everything. So um, as a skills level, he's uh, very tough, he's powerful, big guy like Damian, you know, probably po more powerful than me, but uh, it's not about the power, it's about the weight. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm not uh, heavy like this guy, I don't uh, bring back too much kilos like these guys, but in the cage you will see the everything. Okay, uh, everything, uh, you think that everything is clear between you and uh, Damian Nikoski? Because a lot of people uh, are saying that maybe it was a lucky, lucky punch. Uh, what do you lucky think? Lucky kick. <laughs> lucky kick, yeah. What do you think that you could uh, fight what? one more time with him to prove one more time that uh, mm. you are the better? What do you think? Is lucky punch or not? Not. So only stupid guys and stupid people can say this is lucky punch. Lucky punch, you know what it is. Lucky punch is when you throw the punch and you don't look the guy or you're, I don't know, uh, look down and swing with uh, some, I don't know, hooks and uh, catch the guy when he comes in. But uh, this is, everything is set up from the first round. So the fins and everything is perfect, is set up. Uh, about the rematch, for me, I said to his manager when I met him um, in Poland, I, I was in Poland like two, three months ago, and I said, no problem for me, I don't escape from the rematch, I'll give him the rematch, but, uh, rematch, but they must pay, you know. Uh, when we talk about the money, everybody knows how Damian is a big star, and for me, it's, this is absolutely normal. He deserves everything because he is Olympic hero. And uh, but me, I want a little bit more money now, you know, okay. because I step in half short notice, and uh, he's making more, 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 more money than me, and uh, I show that it's not big different between us, you know. So I think that uh, the, his team, not KSW, his team must pay me a good and we will fight again, no problem. Because this fight is not necessary for you, it's necessary for... Yes, Daniel. of course. Uh, I must be honest, I don't get nothing from... If I win this guy, everybody will say, okay, you win one, one more time, but I don't have nothing, you know. I, in my contract, I, I must make maybe one or two more victories to get the title shot. And for me, this is... This is what I want, you know. If I lose, I go step back. Losing is always an option. I must be honest, you know. So what would I give him the, the fight? Only if I want to take a good money, you know, and uh, to take care about my family. Okay, so last question. Have you some special Venice mask to the, to the event <laughs> in Croatia? You must wait. We will see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.